Hello, everybody. My name is Neil. I'm the director here at Buxwood Overseas Summer School. Uh, please excuse me if I get distracted during uh, this session. We have a lot of people still in the waiting room, so I will be um, letting people in throughout the uh, throughout the half an hour. So, welcome everybody. I'm very excited to meet um, to meet you. If you are coming to summer school this summer. Already I can see a couple of faces that I recognize uh, and I am happy to see you and I will be very happy to see you when you arrive in our school this summer. So um, summer school lasts for seven weeks. So some people will arrive on the 2nd of July and stay for two weeks. Some people will stay for three weeks. We have some people who will stay for seven weeks. What will happen? People will arrive on the 2nd of July for a minimum of two weeks. Then we will have a few more people arriving one week later. Then we will have a lot of people leaving at the end of week two. And then every weekend, students will leave, students will come. Every week, we will have around 200 students. Um, but every week, the students will change. So one thing I would like to say to you guys is, for one week, you will be a new student. Everybody will be a new student for at least one week. And when you are a new student, maybe you will feel a little bit homesick. Maybe you will feel a little bit shy. Maybe you think, who are these crazy people? Because in our school, we understand you are on holiday. We want you to have fun. We want you to feel relaxed. So you might see me dancing around the dining room. You might see me dancing around the dining room and behaving like a child. I think I am very young in my head, um, but I think we should all have fun during this course. Um, excuse me one second. There we go. This is like a game. It's like find the person without uh, who didn't mute their microphone. Um, so guys, it's normal. After one week, you won't be a new student anymore. And then there will be more new students in our school. So. You guys will be the experienced students in our school. We will ask you to help the new students to make them feel welcome because you will have already experienced what it's like to, to be a new student in our school. Okay, so let me tell you what to bring. So a few of you will be packing next week. We want you to bring everything that you need. So what do you need? Um, of course, clothes, simple, normal clothes whatever you wear in your day-to-day -day lives you need to bring we also need you to bring sports clothes um i say sports it doesn't mean that you'll be doing sport all the time if you do not want to do sport don't worry about it we will have other options for you to do arts and crafts we will have sorry guys i'm just trying to find somebody who's not muted uh, we will have creative activities. We will have activities in the countryside. So you do not always need to be doing sports. But if you always want to do sports, we have it available. Um, we want you to also bring nice clothes. Sorry, guys, one second. Aha, there you are. We also need you to bring nice clothes. Um, when I say nice clothes, I don't mean like suits, dresses, things like this, but just clothes that you might wear on a Friday evening when we have the disco before you leave, just to look smart. Recording smart. in progress. Sorry, guys, somebody Sorry. else is making a... Here we go. Found her. All right. <laughs> this is like real summer school, this. Please be quiet. Please be quiet. Um, what else do, do we want you to bring? So far, we have sports clothes, normal clothes, nice clothes. Uh, clothes for swimming. So we have a swimming pool at school. Uh, sometimes we will visit the beach. So if you like swimming, if you want to go in the water, something for this. Very, very important. We want you to bring toiletries and a towel. So of course, you know, your toothbrush, shower gel, shampoo, a towel, um, pajamas, something to relax in. Sometimes when we've had a busy day, we will say tonight the activity is pamper night it's relaxing night you will stay in your house and you will chill with your housemates watch a movie play some board games um so something to relax in also a waterproof coat so this is england and fun fact it hasn't rained in england now for six weeks today was the first day 
It was raining every day. The sky is blue right now. The sun is shining. It's not good for me because my skin is very light and I get sunburned very easily. Kat, in the questions, in the chat box, Kat has asked this question, which I will answer now. Will it be more hot, sunny days or more rainy days? How was it the previous year? So Kat, this is the UK and I think everybody knows we have a very stereotyped weather here in the UK. In one day, we can have rain, we can have sun, we can have wind, it can be cold, it can be hot. Uh, so prepare for everything. Previously, last year, we didn't have any rain. Um, there's been summers where we didn't have any rain for three months, four months, five months. Um, what about riding lessons? I will answer this question later. So I will prepare for all. It will be warm, okay, it won't be cold. Maybe it's cold if you're coming from a hot country, but the average temperature today, right now, it's 23 degrees. Um, it's around 20 degrees, sometimes 30 degrees, sometimes more than 30 degrees. So be prepared for all weathers. Um, bring a waterproof coat, you know, just in case. We say in our school, there is no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothes. So if you are prepared for all weather, all is good. Very important. Bring a charger for your phone. And also very important, in the UK, we have a different uh, adapter for, excuse me, I will show you, for um, electricity. Ours is like this. You see, it's got three plugs. In Europe and a lot of the world, you have something like this. So what you need to bring is an adapter. This is very important. Um, without it, it's difficult to charge your phone, to charge anything you might need. So very important, please bring an adapter. Um, very, very, very important. I mentioned this briefly a moment ago. Please, can you bring a water bottle? In the past, we used to provide water bottles, but this year we are not providing water bottles. Why? Because we gave everybody the same water bottle. Not, I don't mean one water bottle for 200 people. 200 water bottles, they were all exactly the same. And people would come into the dining room, they would put their water bottle down or put it down in class or during activities. The next thing, they don't remember which, which water bottle is theirs. So bring your own water bottle, guys, so you know this is my water bottle. And in the UK, it's possible to drink water from everywhere. So in your house, you will find water. In the dining room, you'll find water. Around school, we have places where you can take water. So please bring a water bottle. Moving on, what not to bring. Um, we don't like it when people bring medicine, unless, of course, you need the medicine every day. So what I mean by this, if you have asthma, if you have, I don't know, diabetes, if you take medicine every day and you need to take this medicine every day, okay, bring it. But you do not need to bring medicine for headaches, for stomach, for allergy. Allergy, okay, allergy is okay. Um, we have all of this in our office. We don't want you to have this medicine in your bedroom because if we need to help you, we need to know exactly what you have already taken. You may say, I have a headache. We need to know, did you take any medicine? Because if you did, we will not give you medicine. We cannot give you medicine. It's very dangerous. So don't bring medicine. We have medicine in our office. We have somebody who is trained in helping you if you do not feel well. Don't bring medicine unless 100% you need it every day, okay? Um, Talking about things like this, our school is in the middle of the countryside. Um, I know students in the past from the Middle East, maybe they're not so used to being around trees and nature. You might feel a little bit of hay fever, but if you have one allergy tablet, you'll be good. Okay, so don't worry. This is something people experience in the first few days in the middle of the countryside. Um, money. Okay, so we, of course... Well, you need to bring money, I guess. You don't need to, but if you want to buy some souvenirs for your parents, for your friends, you should bring some money. Um, parents often ask me, how much money should we give to our kids? Everybody is completely different. I think in, in school, you need no money. You don't need any money at all in school. You only need money for excursions. We have excursions on Tuesday afternoon, all day Wednesday, 
Saturday afternoon and all day Sunday. Um, so these excursions, every Wednesday we will go to London. On Sundays we will go, go to uh, Brighton, to Canterbury, to Thorpe Park, different towns in the southeast of England. So it depends what you want to buy. I mean, if you want to buy souvenirs, £50 a week I think is plenty. It's maybe even a little bit too much, um, but that's your decision. And I would advise, don't bring cash. I know a lot of people don't necessarily agree with this, um, but now in the UK, it's all, you just pay with your phone, you just pay with a card. Um, a lot of places don't actually accept cash. So bring a little bit of cash maybe if you want, uh, but everything these days, it's, it's plastic, it's, it's, it's phones. Especially after the pandemic, um, people don't use cash so much anymore. Um, what's next? Okay, so arriving. Guys, when you arrive at the airport, 99% of our students travel alone from their countries. We have eight-year-olds who travel from China alone, from Mexico, from other sides of the world. Um, when you arrive at the airport, if you are traveling alone, the first thing is just chill, be relaxed, calm down, do not worry. I mean, I traveled alone for the first time when I was 17. You guys are probably younger than that. Um, our maximum age in school is 17. And minimum age is eight. Somebody asked, Galia, eight, Galia. What is the minimum age? It's eight. Um, so if you arrive at the airport and you feel a little bit nervous, do not worry. We are there to help you. We will have somebody waiting for you in the airport. Remember, you cannot find our member of staff until after you have passed into the arrivals hall. Our member of staff will not be standing next to the plane. They will not be at passport control. They will not be next to the luggage area. After you have collected your suitcase and you pass into the arrivals hall, then you will find our member of staff, okay? They will be holding a sign which says boss, Buxwood School, or if you are traveling alone, you will see your name, okay? So just look for the sign with the name of our school or your name, and this is the person that you need to speak to, okay? If you cannot see that person, again, do not worry. Go and sit down, chill, and call us, okay? Everybody will have our emergency number before you travel. And all you have to do is call us and we will find you in a few minutes, okay? So do not worry. This is the procedure at the airport. It's something that everybody has to go through. If you are traveling to school with your parents, some, um, some students maybe will fly to the UK with their parents. Some people, if they live in Europe, not so far from the UK, maybe they will drive. Uh, Check-in time is between one o'clock and six o'clock, okay? So if you are traveling to school with parents or a guardian, please arrive between one o'clock and six o'clock, okay? When you arrive at school, you will meet me. I'm sorry, okay? You will see me, you will meet my colleagues, and we will help you to feel welcome. We will help you to feel relaxed. We want you to... We want you to be busy on your first day. You will be tired, I guess. Some guys, you'll be waking up early to go to the airport. But when you arrive in our school, we want you to try to do as much as possible. Excuse me one second. We want you to do as much as possible to help you to feel welcome, to help you to feel settled, to help you learn about where you are, to help you to make friends, to help you to have fun, okay? So when you arrive at school, we will welcome you into our welcome room. In the welcome room, you'll find our team and we will ask you for your passport. We will take your passport and we will keep it in a safe in my office because we don't want you to lose your passport. And we will take, if you want us to take anything else, your pocket money, anything else which is valuable, we will also take this. Wow, are you okay? <laughs> Hang on, okay. I think somebody just fell over. Um, we will take any money that you want us to take and keep it safe for you. So um, the day before we have excursions, we will say to you, would you like some pocket money for the trip? And we will give it to you just so you don't lose it, okay? As I mentioned before, we recommend people bring card. 
if you lose your card, it's no problem. We can find a solution. If you lose cash, there's no solution. It's lost, okay? We can try to find it, but it's difficult. So you arrive, you meet me, passport, pocket money. The next thing you will do is take the English test, okay? So you will meet one of our academic uh, team. We have a team of we have a team of 30 people this summer. Um, we have 15 teachers, we have nine house tutors, and we have our management team. So the management team is me, our academic manager, Sarah, our activity manager called Ross. We have the summer school coordinator, she is called Giada, and our um, senior teacher. So we are always there to help you 24 seven. And you will meet one of our academic team, and you will do the test. So the test you do when you arrive at school is quite simply speaking and listening, okay? Because on the last day, all students will take the Trinity College London graded examination in spoken English. So when you arrive at school, the test is speaking and listening. It's very important and very, very helpful. Next week on Monday, every week on Monday, I will send an email to students arriving at the weekend. And in this email, which I will send on Monday, um, is our reading and writing test. So if you can do this before you travel to our school, this will help us a lot to organize the classes. All of the classes are organized according to your English level, according to your age, and according to your first language, okay? So that in your class, there will be a maximum of 15 students, all same English level, same age, different languages, okay? The only language we speak in our school is English, okay? Um, after you have done the English test, there will be other activities for you to do. These activities include find a friend who cannot speak your language, learn the names of all members of staff. If you didn't already, call your parents to, to tell them you are safe. Um, have some food, have something to drink. You must create a, a sign for your bedroom door to help us, uh, well, we know where you are, but it's always very easy to see your name, help us to learn your name, uh, and we know where you are quicker um, with your name on the door. Once all of these tasks have been completed, then we will have some activities around our school for you to have fun. We will play some ninja, capture the flag, volleyball, um, chilling. We have a nice uh, front field where we sit down, we have conversations and things like this. In the evening on Sunday, we have a welcome assembly. This is just a fun meeting, all students, all staff together, staff. just to share some information with you. Then you will go to your house. You will meet all of your housemates if you didn't meet them already. You will meet your house tutor. You will have a meeting in your house. There are between 20 and 30 people in each house. Then on Monday morning, you will wake up. You will go for breakfast. You will have assembly, assembly is with me and the house tutors who take care of you in your houses. And then you will have a more formal tour of the school and a more formal presentation from me just to explain what to do in what situation, some of the school rules and things like this. Okay. And I think just to go over what I said quickly again, um, what to bring, please bring. It's in the student guide as well, everybody. So you should have received the student guide uh, already. If not, it's on our website. So please bring normal clothes, sports clothes, nice clothes, relaxing clothes, swimming clothes, uh, toiletries, a waterproof coat, uh, a phone charger, an adapter for charging things, an electrical adapter, and a water bottle. Don't bring medicine unless you need to use it every day. Please bring um, pocket money. We recommend you bring a card. Um, arriving at the, at the airport, remain calm. Do not worry. We are there to help you. You can call if you cannot find a member of staff. Um, and then when you will arrive at school, everything is good. You can meet us and have some fun. Okay. So I think I have finished. If you have any questions, I think the best way to answer questions is if you put them into the chat box. Um, already I can see a couple of questions. Um, riding lessons. So um, we have horse riding stables at school. This is something that you must book in advance. Already people have. So one question is, uh, do we need to bring 
protection clothes, for example, a helmet. If you want, Marlon, you can bring a helmet. We have horse riding helmets at school and boots, so we can provide it. But if you want to bring your own boots and your own helmet, you are welcome to do so. Minimum age of the students is eight, maximum is 17. Uh, hair dryers, what about hair dryers? We do not provide hair dryers, so you can pack a hair dryer or ask a friend. I always say, um, check with your roommates, check with uh, your housemates. If you forgot your charger, I'm sure somebody can help you. Uh, and the same with a hair dryer. Uh, my 11 year old, the, what is the emergency number? So the emergency number I will put now in the chat box. Uh, this is the 24 hour emergency number. Please only use this number in an emergency. Um, an emergency is, I need help right now. For our students, you will find members of staff very close always. I mean, even if you go, ah, oh, a member of staff will be able to hear you. Um, if you cannot find a member of staff, for example, on an excursion, you, you get lost, you can call this number, we will help you. All students, you will be wearing on your wrist a wristband. On the wristband, you will find the emergency telephone number. You'll find the school address. You must use this at all times. You must be wearing this. And we check. So if you're not wearing it, we will say, where is your wristband? Um, it's for your own safety. Um, excuse me one second. That's a lot of questions. One moment, please. Emergency number. I put, I put it in the chat box. Should I provide an IELTS certificate if I have one? Vlad, no need. That's okay. Well done. If you have an IELTS certificate, that's very uh, impressive. Um, Sonia Garcia, how many students per room? It depends on the age of the students. So students aged eight to 11, some of the bedrooms have three or four beds. We like the younger students to be together, uh, to socialize, to, to, to hang out. Uh, older students, um, 12 to 17, we have rooms with two beds and we have a couple of single rooms. But this is my advice. I've been working in summer schools now for 18 years. Have a roommate. We give everybody a roommate anyway, um, but it really enhances your summer school experience. Summer school is about making friends, growing in confidence, becoming independent, learning about new cultures, learning about new countries. Yes, you're coming to the UK, but you're going to be in a school with people from 40 different countries. And it's a, it's a privilege. I mean, I find myself to be very lucky to have friends from all over the world. And after you have been to Boss, you will also have friends from all over the world. Um, Lahib Ali, what is the wake up time? So wake up time is 7.45. Um, we tell students to set their alarms, um, but we have a member of staff, our house tutors at 7.45, they will start. Good morning, guys. It's time to wake up. We'll help you pre pre uh, prepare for the day. We sleep a little bit longer on uh, Sundays. So wake up on Sunday is at 8.30. So one more hour in bed on uh, Sundays. But on Wednesday, when we go to London, we wake up a, li a little bit earlier. Um, wake up on Wednesday when we go to London is at 7.15 so that we can go to London earlier. Um, hey, Galia, my daughter has no credit card. She is 11 years old. She will bring cash. Cool. Food, Alicia. Food, English or continental? Not English, not continental, international. We have food from all over the world. Um, a bit of English food from time to time to give the students the experience to, to taste a Yorkshire pudding. Mm, a Yorkshire pudding, what's that? Very delicious. Um, breakfast, typically we have lots of fruits. We have cereal. Every day the, the hot choice is different. Some days we have eggs. Uh, twice a week we have the famous English breakfast, uh, sausages, bacon, eggs. We can cater for all necessary dietary requirements. Um, I myself, I don't eat meat, for example, so I have the vegetarian diet at school. If we have students who need halal food, we can do this. So we have gluten-free students, we can do gluten-free food. You just need to let us know. I think probably you already did. Uh, we have Italian food. If there's any Italians in this uh, meeting, you know here in England, we have the best pizza and the best pasta mm -hmm. in the world. So we will be uh, serving a lot of that. 
We have Mexican food sometimes. We have Chinese food sometimes. Um, the food's always different, but there's always fruit available. There's always vegetables available. There are always, there's always salad available uh, and two choices. So if students don't like this, they can choose this. And parents, be prepared for your child maybe to say, I don't like the food. It happens all the time. Please note that me and our team of 30 people, we eat the exact same food. Uh, we are adults who love food, you know, so I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because we have so many nationalities together in one room eating different cuisines, different palates, different tastes. Uh, but the food is good. But I'm telling you now, just so you are prepared, um, you may hear, oh, there's nothing to eat. There is plenty to eat. Do you have tennis rackets to rent? We have tennis rackets, but you cannot rent them because they are free. The students can take them if they want to play tennis during our activity sessions. Um, so yes, we have tennis rackets. Do you have any limits on electronic devices for entertainment, phones, iPads, smartwatches? Yes. So sorry, students, if you are here listening, we have no phone days. So at least every Monday is no phone day, uh, which means we will take your phone from you before you even leave your house in the morning and we will give it back to you in the evening. So also parents be aware of this. It's at least Mondays and often also Thursday and Friday. Uh, the students will have their phones Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, because we have trips. We will be leaving our school and they will need their phones for emergencies to take photographs and things like this. But we have very strict rules at school about phones because we want you to be social. The most important thing about our school is to socialize, to be social, to chat, to practice speaking, to make friends. So we will tell you when you can use your phones. And if you are using your phone outside of this time, we will take it away from you and we will keep it until later in the day. So be aware of this, guys. And parents also be aware that sometimes you might not be able to get hold of your uh, kids if you need to. Um, also, parents, don't ring your, don't ring your uh, kids unless you need to. If you ring them, I've seen this with my own eyes, they feel a little bit homesick from time to time, but also they will be with a group of new friends. They will call you, you'll be like, hi, how are you, honey? And they will say, leave me alone, I'm with my new friends. So the students won't be, they, they won't sound themselves. They may sound sad, but they're not sad. They're just with their new friends and they just wanna be left alone. If they don't call you for days, for weeks, fantastic. That's the best news ever, all right? You don't want to uh, be speaking to them too much. It's their time to become independent, to come to summer school and have fun. Okay, Oliver, can we still cancel an activity that we originally booked? Yes, Oliver, you can. Please send us uh, an email. Uh, we will arrange that for you. We can cancel that. Uh, what is the rules regarding phone during the day? Leo Bandel, I recognize this name, Leo. Have you been before? To boss, I think. Um, Vincent and Carlo, can I share a room with the friend I am traveling with? Very good question. And the person who can answer this question is your parents. So Vincent and Carlo, ask your parents. We don't recommend it. We recommend you share with somebody who you don't know because then you can make a new friend and you can practice your English. Hey, Galia, what about laundry? Laundry every day we have available for students. So in our school, we have six houses and each house will have a laundry day. Um, so one day, Monday, it's this house, Tuesday, it's this house, Wednesday, it's this house, etc. So the laundry days involve the students taking their laundry. We give them bags, laundry in the bag. They will take their laundry to the laundrette. We have a team of people in the laundrette who will wash the clothes. They will iron the clothes and make the clothes very nice for you. Um, our staff help the students do this and remind our students so nobody will forget anything. We are always communicating with the students about what's happening. Um, so don't worry about missing your laundry then. Nicholas, when is the best time to arrive on Sunday? If you are flying alone, if you are uh, using our transfer service, arrive when you arrive. If you are traveling with family, um, we ask please to arrive between 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. I will send an email out on, on, um, on Monday about this. 
Marlon, sorry, I don't understand correctly. Did you books would provide helmet and protection clothes for riding or not? If necessary, yes, we can provide a helmet for um, horse riding. But if you want to bring your own horse riding equipment, that is possible. So yes, we have. But if you want to bring your own, that's your decision. What is the emergency number for parents in case of an emergency at home? Uh, that is our office number, which is um, 07596609. So parents, if you have an emergency at home, I just shared our office number in the chat box. Um, excuse me one second, please. Okay, that's the emergency, that's the non-emergency number, which I just shared right now. Lahib Ali, can you please explain your support of the kids fly back, uh, check in and so on. So if um, like 99% of our students, they are traveling alone. Um, when you are leaving our school, a member of staff, they will take you to the airport, they will help you check in. If you are an unaccompanied minor with the airline, um, we must know about this because our member of staff must stay in the airport until the plane has left the runway. Um, if you are not an unaccompanied minor, um, we will help you to check in, but we cannot pass through security. If you are an unaccompanied minor, somebody from the airline will escort you through security, um, will be with you on the plane, and will help you when you land in your country before you meet your parents. Um, next question, cats. So students allowed to have phones with them at bed. So at night, we, of course, take, well, hang on one second. Uh, students will have their phones, yes, um, during the evening. We do monitor this, though, as well. So be aware, students, we are um, not silly. We do checks to make sure everybody's asleep. Um, and if we know that there is a problem with somebody using their phone too much in the night or we see them always using their phone, we will take it for a very, very long time. Also, at the end of the day, after the meeting, so students have a, have a meeting uh, before bed, and usually that's the only time in the day uh, where students have a bit of time to call home to let you know, to let you know how they are if they want to. Um, Petri, Daniela, for students who stay for two weeks, will they go twice to London? Yes. If you stay for two weeks, you go to London twice. If you stay for four weeks, four times, etc. Uh, every time we go to London, you will do something different. Um, you will not do the same thing in London more than once. Caroline, uh, the kids don't need to bring bed sheets, right? Good question. No, you do not need to bring bed sheets. This is provided. Daniela, tennis courts, clay or other underground? So our tennis courts, it's similar to clay. It's um, it's a hard surface. We have um, like a hard surface court and we have an indoor tennis court as well. The indoor tennis court, it's, it's an artificial grass, but the outdoor one, which is the one we use more in summer, it's a, it's a hard surface, similar to clay. How often is laundry? So uh, once a week, students will have their laundry day, but also each house has um, a washing machine if necessary for students to use with the help of a member of staff. Thank you very much, have to go. Is there Wi-Fi to connect to? Yes, we have Wi-Fi for the students to use. We will give them the password as soon as they arrive so they can access WhatsApp or whatever is necessary to uh, to contact parents. Do you have left-handed golf clubs as well? Yes. We have the golf course. Uh, what time can the kids call home? So the students, they will know um, when they can use their phones. Usually this is... Sorry, one second. I'm just trying to... Sorry. Trying to find, here we go. Sorry guys, Luca. Um, the students will know when they can and can't use their phones. Um, they can use their phone during break time. Sorry guys, somebody, Anna maybe? I think I found the person. Um, they can use phones during break times, during meal times. 
Um, students cannot use phones during room inspections, during classes, unless they have permission from the teacher to do research, to use as, um, as a dictionary or a translator. Students can not use phones during activities, during assembly, um, during any meeting. Um, they will know this, and if we see them using their phones, we will take them away. We also have some students who are very, very clever and bring two phones. So when um, it's time to hand, hand in their phone, they're like, okay, no problem, because they have another one. Very cheeky. Um, do kids need to bring towels? Yes, very important. Please bring towels. There is football, right? Yes, Yusuf, there is football. During activity sessions, you will have the opportunity to play football. Do they have to hand the phone every day? Emma, not every day, because on some days, four days per week, we have excursions, and you will need phones on excursions to take photographs and for emergencies. Do we have any questions? Any more questions? I have finished, I think. So thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Uh, we had around 90 people here today, but this summer we will have around 600 individual people coming to BOSS from 40 different countries. Every week is completely different in terms of which nationality is the most popular. We don't really have a most popular nationality because we like to try and limit the language spoken in our school. So we don't take more than 20% of students who speak the same language. And when we do have uh, students who speak the same language, we integrate them, we mix them around our campus so that um, they're not all together speaking the same language. Also, um, that's another rule, guys. English is the language of our school. You are coming to England to, um, to, to learn English, to practice English, um, to socialize, to communicate. So please remember this. One more question. Can you organize to take phones away for the night? Yes, Kat. The more we can take phones away, the better. It makes me very happy. When we don't have phones at school, on no phone day, it's a, it's, a, it's a brilliant day. It's a perfect day. The first time we did no phone day, I walked into the dining room. Um, I forgot it was no phone day. And I was like, something's different today in this school. Something's, uh, there's, there's a better atmosphere. Everybody was chatting in the dining room. Kids were pranking each other. They were, lots of teamwork going on. So I was very happy when it's no phone day, and I am very happy when it's no phone day. Um, thank you, everybody. Um, I will be, well, this meeting is recorded. I will be sending this meeting out tomorrow. Um, ooh, one more question. Do they have to bring school material? No, Anna. Maybe a pen. A pen would be useful. Can we bring football boots? Yes, please bring football boots, Tim. That's a good idea. Um, I will be sending this video out tomorrow um, along with everything that I've said today all of the notes so if you think you didn't understand something or maybe you missed something tomorrow you will receive an email and in the email is all of the information that we have discussed today um, the most important thing parents please trust us we do our best we want our students to be the happiest kids on this planet um, we will not do anything to make our students sad. If they need help, we will help them. Um, we will look out for them at all times. Even if we see they're not eating properly, we will say, Oi, you need to eat some salad. You need to eat some vegetables. You cannot eat chocolate all the time. Um, so from food, if we see them, they, they're quiet. Are you okay? Can we help you? Of course, I mentioned homesickness. This is only a small percentage of students in the first day or two. Remember, students and parents, when you arrive in our school, you'll be tired. It's a new place. You'll be thinking, I want to go home. I need to speak to my parents. This is completely normal. We won't judge you. It doesn't matter how you feel. Please speak to us. This is the most important thing. We just want you to talk to us. Um, if you don't talk to us, we can't help you. And talk to us directly. Some students, they call their parents. Parents call agents. Agents call me. Um, if you just speak to our team, we have 30 people all around school. Um, we will help you immediately, okay? We are all first aid trained. We have experience in this and we are looking forward to a good summer, an excellent summer. I'm very excited, okay? I will stay here for a few minutes uh, if anybody has any more questions. If you don't have any questions, thank you so much for joining us um, and 
I look forward to meeting you in the summer. Bye, guys. Have a nice evening. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Neil. I have uh, one specific Hi. question. Hi. Yes, how are you? I recognize your name. Yeah, because uh, I talked to you about the uh, return date for my daughter. We, we had a problem with the airline that they changed, uh, they canceled the flight at the last minute. So we delayed it uh, one by one day. We talked about it. Has she, has she been to bus before or is this the first time? No, no, it's the first time. Okay. I, I, your uh, name is, it's very familiar. I don't know why. <laughs> Strange. Uh, um, uh, we are uh, uh, having a family trip to London, mm -hmm. and then we drop want to drop her off at the bus uh, at the first day. Okay. Is um, at what time should we come? And is there some? Uh, we, is there some kind of transportation, public transportation, or something? From London, yeah. From London, you can take a train to Hastings. Mm -hmm. It's about yes. it's about ninety minutes. And then from okay. Hastings, when you leave the train station in Hastings, you will find lots of taxis to bring mm. you to, they will bring you to school. It's about 10 pounds, the taxi. Um, after one o'clock. So between one o'clock and six o'clock is uh, the check-in time. Ah, okay. Um, and it doesn't matter when, right? So. Uh... No, no, that's fine. Just to give us a bit of, a lot of, a lot of flights arrive early in the morning. So. Just to get the early flights out the way and mm. by by one o'clock in the afternoon every every arrival day is completely different but by one o'clock in the afternoon usually it's a bit more settled if you know what i mean okay uh, and how long uh, so uh, from london to to boss it's about like uh, one hour one and a half hour something like that so from uh charing cross which is mm -hmm. near trafalgar square the train is one hour and a half and then from the train station 15 minutes okay, by taxi great. it's possible great. also to take a train from victoria london victoria but it's a bit longer this train is about two hours okay great yeah so uh, this was what i wanted to know because uh, it's like it's the first time and everything so we want to give her like a, an easy settling yes and the <laughs> easiest way believe it or not to help your daughter settle is bring her to school and say bye and leave because i've seen uh in the past we've had students uh, they arrive with their parents and the parents say oh she can't speak english she's very shy the parent leaves and suddenly the english is amazing mm -hmm. she makes lots of friends you know it's uh it, it helps the, the students to settle quicker when the parents aren't there if you know what i mean they're a little bit shy i've noticed students uh kids are more shy around parents including my own family you know it's yeah it's uh, uh no no my daughter is not shy and and there's no and she's the same so i'm not sure. worried about that and, and uh, uh, one question is that's a bit for the future um uh, there's a my daughter's brother he's 10 mm -hmm. he's not coming to to the summer school this year um he's more uh, difficult with the language Okay. So what we thought is that if this would be a good experience for her, so next year we can bring both of them and she can help him, you know, in the not during the summer school, but uh, with all the logistics and stuff. Yeah. I wanted to know: is there a limit? Do you have issues with the the level of the English? Let's say is very basic. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. We don't have any kind of. Um, we don't want to say you can't come because you you're you need to come to a summer school you need to go to an english school to learn english do you know what i mean yeah and and if we say you cannot come how how can you how can you learn and um, we've had many students in the past who cannot speak english when they arrive even they don't understand hello how are you it's like what and um, but they will take the grade one trinity london um exam which is to help them to improve like what's your name instead of neil they will learn to say, my name is Neil. How old are you? I am blah, blah, years old. What is this? This is a pen. How many pens? There are. There is one pen. What color is the pen? The pen is black, you know? So all of this is possible in two weeks. Um, students who arrived knowing nothing have left having passed 
the exam. Even eight-year-olds who, who are the youngest in our school, they, they can pass their exams. Okay. And Great. I don't know how it happens, but we have students who sometimes they don't have such strong English, but they find a way. They find a way to communicate. Uh, and we've never had any major issues where there's complete uh, misunderstanding. If absolutely necessary, especially if it's an emergency, we will have a member of staff who can speak. I think between us, we've we, we, we've got all of the languages covered. Yeah, okay, he, great. Yeah, he's next to you, don't worry. He lives in lives in the UK at the moment. He's working in high tech. So, how are you, Julian? How are you, Neil? Very good. Nice to mm -hmm. see you. Julian is one of our partners in Israel, sending students. Yeah, yeah actually, I talked to him uh, before I uh, signed in. Oh, uh, uh, really? We had yeah, some recommendations. Yeah, we had friends, Majd, so. Very good, very good. Uh, I spoke. You're in good hands here, don't worry. <laughs> Today, uh, Julian, right. I, I spoke with Yaman. I was, I was uh, at school in the morning, and he said he wants to come to summer school again from the 16th of yes. July. So I said, I speak to Julian. Saying... No worries, yeah, his father called me. Cool. Good. Are you okay, Julian? How's life? All good, all good. Do we need Maybe. to bring... Uh, uh, that was with us this year? Yes, please. <laughs> we had to go shopping a lot last year. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just gonna stop the recording because now we're getting we're going down the social line here. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. I look forward to seeing you this summer.